So in the interest of time, I've just went ahead and typed in my next query uh, for the prompt here. I said, generate sample questions a college professor may ask when teaching innovation as one of my classes. So let us see what it comes up with. So you say, here are some sample questions a college professor may ask when teaching you. How do you define innovation? That's the thing I ask week one. Can you provide examples of innovative companies or products? Yep. What are kind of some characteristics? Yep. How does the process of a new different a startup versus a like, Yep. Uh, organizations, how do, can organizations foster culture? It's how can companies protect them? Okay. This is pretty cool. Now, this is my field. These are the types of questions I would ask, but here's what's kind of neat. If you ever need to develop a new class, uh, create and oops, let's type it in. Create an outline for, oops, outline for an undergraduate course in innovation. Now let's check it out. It has basically built my syllabus for me. Yeah. My strong recommendation to anyone, uh, any colleague of mine who wants to use this uh, product is, or these types of AIs, I should say, is it's a starting point. It gives you good ideas, but uh, definitely don't rely on it permanently. And without question, journals, etc., will start doing reverse engineering to take what's written here and plug it back in. Uh, and then what's neat is, say I have innovation in the global context, I can say something like this, expand on innovation in global context. See what comes up. Now, what I really like about something like this, though, is let's try to expand upon it. Like, for example, it says uh, innovation in the global context. So I might say expand upon. Oops. Oh, come on, baby. Okay. Expand upon innovation in the global context context with examples and class exercises. Because what I'm thinking here is uh, I, I have a lot of friends who are doing a great deal of work in sustainability and sustainability is perfect for an innovation class. Don't want to trust its spell uh, corrector, so let's see what we get for it. I get this little generator. So while it was processing, I stopped the tape. Uh, now back it goes. In this section of the course, students will explore the impact of innovation on global scale and how it affects the social, society and economy. They will also learn about the challenges of innovation in the global context. Impact of innovation, examples, role of technology in transforming the healthcare industry, impact of renewable energy innovations. See, this is what I was thinking. Class exercise, group discussions, small groups, debates, students will participate. Now, in some ways, when I'm building like my D2L shells or something like this, this is nothing new. It's just reminding me of activities that, oh yeah, I could do that, or oh, that's pretty neat. It's very similar to when I go see like a finance colleague and see some of the techniques he uses in his class on the college level that he learned from his wife, who is a sixth grade teacher. I mean, so it's just passing along the knowledge. And finally, I, I would say this regarding people's condemn, condemnation of these products when they say, oh, this is all just you know, plagiarism. Who are we kidding? If you were asked to teach a brand new course, the first thing you would do is go ask to see other people's syllabi. You would also um, find out what textbooks are being used, um, you know, and, and build from there. 
I mean, I learned this when I was a starving graduate student, and I was told on, under no uncertain terms by my advisor that uh, your uh, McGraw-Hill rep is your best friend now. You know? uh, I personally am trying to use as many open source textbooks as possible in my courses, and what I do is I assign students tasks to update these textbooks. My innovation textbook is like 2011. So I'm like, okay, guys, great. These are new technologies. Update it. All right. Thanks.